Hey everybody, this is Brooks from DroidDog.com and today we're going to be flashing the uh, newly released preview of CM10 on the Google Nexus 7. To start off, I want to uh, show you that I'm running the stock whoops, uh, Jelly Bean ROM right now. So we are on the uh, Android 4.0 1.1 and the JRO03D build number. So before this can actually be done, uh, you need you do need to be rooted. So if you're not rooted, be sure to check out my how-to root video on DroidDog.com on the uh, DroidDog YouTube, or I'll again have a link on the blog. First thing we need to do was actually download the files and I will be putting a link to these files on the uh, Droid Dog web site on the blog so right now I'm on Cyanogen Mods uh, Google Plus and what we were going to want to download is the the ROM and the G apps I've already downloaded those. So from there, we are going to plug in our Nexus 7. To our computer, so we can move the files over. And I already have the files here. I've already downloaded them, but you go ahead and download those so they're ready. So I have the CM10 and the G app. So I'm going to go ahead and cut those. And I'm going to place them just on the, uh, the root folder for the Nexus 7. So this is going to take a little bit of time. They're kind of big files. I think it's uh, 200 meg plus. So uh, we'll uh, we'll come back when it's done. Okay, so we are back, and uh, I have the uh, CM10. I'll zoom in here. I have CM10 and the G apps on the root folder in the on the Nexus 7. So now that we are now that we have the files on the Nexus 7, there's a various ways you can actually boot into recovery. You can actually leave it plugged in and it's really easy. But I'm actually going to go into uh, ROM Manager. and I'm going to reboot into recovery. So I have my device unplugged from my computer and hit OK. So we're actually going to be rebooting into recovery. I'm currently running uh, Clockwork Mod 6 and the Touch custom recovery. So um, this should work with any custom recovery that you have running on your Nexus 7. First thing you should do is back your Nexus 7. So since I'm running the uh, the touch recovery, I can actually uh, select that with my finger. If you're running a regular custom recovery, use the volume up and volume down buttons to switch selections. Let's see, I'll actually try and get a little closer for you. So hopefully you can see what's going on here. Um, and then you should be able to use the power button to select uh, backup and restore. I'm just going to hit it with my touch recovery and then what I want to do is backup so we're going to hit backup and it's going to go ahead and do that. It's going to take a little bit of time so again when this is done we will uh, we'll jump ahead. Okay 
So our backup is complete now. And our next item of business will be doing a wiping the data and doing a factory reset. Uh, this is basically a, a safe thing to do before you flash any ROM. We're also going to wipe the cache. Then we're going to go down here to advanced and wipe Dalvik cache. Alright, following th those wipes, we will, uh, let's see, where is it? Oh, I'm advanced, sorry, there we go. Install zip from SD card and choose zip from SD card. Let's go down to the bottom. If you have the non-touch version, you'll use again your volume up and volume down, volume down, and we're going to select CM10. The CM10 dash two zero one two zero seven two seven experimental grouper nemeth dot zip and then hit yes and it's going to go ahead and flash cm10 and this may take some time I'll let you know about how long it takes and uh, we'll go ahead to that point. Alright. We are back. It, it's done flashing. That maybe took like 15 or 20 seconds, not very long. We're going to go back to choose zip from SD card. Go to the bottom again. And we're going to uh, install the G apps zip. Go ahead and flash that real quick. Looks like it's moving pretty quick. I'll just leave it on probably. Alright, and we're done. As soon as we're done with that, we'll go back and reboot system now. And I uh, Obviously this might take a little bit, uh, booting up for your first time with uh, CM10, so uh, we'll go ahead and move to that point. Well, that didn't take long at all. Cool boot animation. So it says uh, Cyanogen Mod 9. Okay, so the uh, the boot animation is still going for me. And there we go. So I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, get this all worked out and we'll come back. Alright, so everything booted up fine. And here we see just this, basically a stock Jelly Bean lock screen. Uh, we can uh, unlock the camera regular unlock or go to Google Now and just get unlock. Uh, the, uh, the clock's kind of in a funny spot, not exactly centered. Um, we have this, uh, this widget, which I don't think, I can't remember if it came with stock Jelly Bean, but uh, a nice widget that it's kind of a stock Android widget looking widget. Um, not much in our, uh, on our bar down here. We can look at our app drawer. We have Apollo. These are things that don't usually come with it. Dev tools, DSP manager, comes with super user and ROM manager, and a terminal emulator. And you see it's uh, very slim. Not much comes on your CM10, which is okay by me. Um, next thing I can show you is uh, going into just the uh, the pull down. Uh, we uh, have these widgets here, which don't remember having in stock. Sorry, I can't remember if it was in stock, but we have here coming stock on CM10 is a Wi Fi, GPS, uh, sound, 
nothing's happening as I as I hit that. Let's see. Looks like that's something that might not be working. And uh, Bluetooth toggle. Um, so if we go into settings, this is where you uh, can really get into some neat things with um, CM10. We can change things about the lock screen. Um, you can obviously do uh, normal screen security things like uh, face unlock. Um, but also we can add weather or calendar to the uh, lock screen. Sorry, I can do a better job of holding this for you. And we can adjust slider shortcuts. So you see all these open spots that we can use. Uh, we can add shortcuts to those. So you could uh, call your girlfriend or calendar, uh, text, text messaging, whatever. Uh, next, there's also themes right now. It's, we could probably download themes, but it, this is the only theme that came with it is the one that we're uh, running right now. I can back up for that, sorry. We'll go back. And last system, well, actually there's going to be one more thing. Um, so we can adjust those toggles in the notification bar. Let's see. Um, where is that? Oh, we're in, so widget buttons. So here, here's all these things. I don't usually use Bluetooth, so I could actually turn that off. And now uh, Bluetooth is no longer, where am I? <laughs> Up here on the notification drawer. So, pretty customizable there, pretty exciting. All right, and you can even change the order of the widgets buttons for the toggles. Uh, last, uh, this is at least what I, that I know of that we are here on CM10 is the profiles, which I think is pretty awesome. We can set profiles, we can change settings uh, for profiles for like home, for work, night, uh, for whatever. We can even add different profiles for different situations. So that's pretty cool. If you come home, you can just change it, turn the sound off, baby sleeping, whatever. Um, pretty cool feature that we have here with CM10. So that's, uh, that's the review. Uh, it seems like it's working really well so far. Wi-Fi works. Um, seems really smooth. And um, I'm excited to, to see it in action. This is, again, it's just a a preview so there probably will be bugs but um, be sure to follow us follow the droid dog blog but you can also follow us on Twitter Facebook or Google Plus again this is Brooks Barnard you can also follow me on Twitter I'll, and um, again this is everything you see here it's at your own risk but hopefully if you follow these steps that I show you should be good to go and uh, Hope you enjoy this. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and uh, have a great day. Thanks.